All right. So we're live again. Oops, this is attempt number two. So let's just see if we're going to work this time. Sorry, guys, if you hopped on before and um, yeah, we are all of a sudden went frozen. So I'm Heather Boyd Wire here for take two of uh, ah, Wire Lady. Wire Lady TV. I'm flustered now. So here I have a special guest, my daughter. Mimi Dolls. And Mimi, tell everybody what you do. So I am a doll photographer. Oh, hello. Yay. Um, Rainbow unicorn. Oh, how appropriate. Okay. <laughs> um, so I am a doll photographer. I have an Instagram, which is at BB Dolls. And uh, I, I I got this doll in Vancouver. Um, it, I got her through a follower of mine. I actually bought her off of a follower of mine. We had like a little chat for a while and I got to meet her in Vancouver and I bought the doll and we're going to be making something for the doll today. So I hope you guys enjoy. That's awesome. And now we have a whole bunch of people hopping on. I don't know if you guys tried to get it on the first live stream, but it Howdy. froze. So now we have Rainbow Unicorn. We have Sky. We have Cat. We have Fern, Connie, and that's awesome. And Rainbow and Clarice. And Rainbow Unicorn, how appropriate that you hopped on because we're doing a little unicorn headband for Mimi's doll. Here's a little sketch like that and I was actually um I usually flip the screen around but for, Hi. for this one oh and T and her farmer oh Laura okay Laura how are you it's always so confusing when people have different usernames but I'm trying to get used to them so it's all good so so yeah so Mimi uh, tell everybody about your photography and what you do and uh, I, I did oh you did already <laughs> okay that's perfect did you tell your two Instagram accounts no, I just said Mimi B Dolls. Okay, Mimi B Dolls. But Mimi also has Mimi B Photography. So you can check out with her two Montreal with two Ys. You can well, it's not really out. my photography. I don't really have much photography on there anymore. It's kind oh. of become like my personal one. But random you stuff? Can, no, it's not random. It's like photography in my personal life. But if you want to follow it, you can. Perfect. So so what we did is we got started by doing um, the headband. And what I did was, because I already started it, I'll start it again. So... So what you basically want to do is do, this is 16 gauge wire, and we're just going to form it with a little bottle like that, or like, like it's a little pot, I guess you would call it. And then what you want to do is get your round pliers and bend one end up like that. And then we're going to try it on Oakley, so it just fits her. And you could do the same project with uh, to fit a child or even an adult if you like you might want to use thicker wire if you're doing it for a child or an adult so basically that's what I did so I'll just that's the point at which I was the last time and then this is the one I started on the first one so rainbow unicorn says this is so cool yes this is going to be awesome so what we want to do is I'm actually to make it more reinforced I'm actually going to put the little thing in again and just bend these back okay and after the, after the headband, we're going to do a ring. So let's just measure about where should her ears be on the doll? Where do you think? Just like about here, I guess? Maybe yes, about so. there. Oh, Whoops, sorry. There. So we're going to there just, go. I'm going to try to show you up close. We're going to twist it around a couple of times like that. Okay, on one side. And then on the other side, you want it about in the same place doesn't have to be perfect but try to get it around in the position in the same place and we're going to twist this around up like this oh sky says I love your tutorials thank you so much I really appreciate appreciate it you guys really inspire me so look that almost look, ooh, looks like she's got alien ears do you want alien ears or unicorn unicorn please. okay so now I'm gonna put Mimi to work because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the horn and Mimi will do the ears so so uh, she's got her little, um, these are these are plastic. I'm using plastic because if you use glass, it would be really too heavy. So I don't know if you could see these, but these are uh, plastic faceted beads in different colors. So Mimi, you go for it and, and just put, I don't know, like 10 beads or something on there and we'll form the ears, maybe even more than that. And I'm going to also watch the comments at the same time and I am going to do the horn now so the horn I decided to do uh, purple and crystal kind of plastic beads as well 
Could you make bunny ears or cat ears? Absolutely. In fact, I already have a tutorial on my channel to make the cat ears, which was inspired when Mimi and her friends were really into Taylor Swift, and she, Taylor Swift, wore those cat ears in one of her videos. So I'll link that up below how to do the cat ears uh, in another, uh, uh, it's in another video quite a few years ago. I can't guarantee the quality of that video because it was a while ago, so... But I definitely have a video for that. So now for the horn, what I'm going to do is just take a thinner wire. It has to be a thinner wire because we're going to actually fit it through the wire, um, beads the beads twice. Uh, let's see. Let the hell I'm let's, nine. Nine. So let's just check how, if we want them to be kind of formed uh, like that. Rock. So what if I, it's what do you rocks. think for the ear? Like this high? That's short, eh? Maybe this high? Maybe, yeah. Or even higher? No, not any higher. Like that one? Like if we did like that? Yeah, I think yeah, so. Like three, yeah, three, three, good. three, three. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna do that, and then okay. for the for the horn, gonna... let's just bend this. I I cut it extra long because I hate running out of wire. So I'm gonna just cut this one or bend it in half, and I'm going to start by putting three of these crystal beads on, and I think. What do you think? Should it be purple and crystal or just one of the colors? Uh, the... I think one of each. Uh, like one back alternate? and forth. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put three beads on here to start on one side. And the idea what we want to do is we want to have it a little okay. off-centered. Like we want, you know how it looks like it's kind of like twirling up like that? So the idea was to have one, more beads on one so side like than the other. That. Yeah, perfect. Do you want to show them what you're doing? So I just tur I turned it, and then I'm just going to twist it around the bottom part so it stays. Perfect. And then... Do I want me to like, do it like this, or uh, like more like... Whatever you think. I trust your... I trust, or what did I, what I was value I your opinion. I value your opinion. That's a running joke with Mimi and I because, uh, what, how did that joke come apart, or come about, I forget. It was in Ottawa, she was making her wire art cards yeah. for my grandma, or her mom, and uh, she's like, which one do you prefer on which background? And I said one, and she's like, well, I don't value your opinion, she oh, chose no. the other one. <laughs> I was joking, yeah. Yeah, I know you are. <laughs> so what we're going to do to try for this one, I'm not even sure it's going to work because as always, I always um, troubleshoot on as these always. live streams, as always, always, as always. So I have three on one side always and always. five on the other. And what I want to do is now I'm going to bend this side up. Do you see that? I'm bending that side up and bending this side down. Okay. So we have the one side bent up and one side bent down on. So on the side bending down, I'm going to add some beads. Can I, I ask your followers too? a strange question? Sure, please. Yeah. Yeah. I have, a, I have a very odd question for you guys. Is it possible that like when you're in your thoughts and thinking about something that can make you t make you tired? Because I'm like tired and I haven't done that much today, but I've thought a lot about different things and like, I don't know, I've been doing a lot of thinking. So. That's a very philosophical question. Yeah. Okay, so you guys, we need some very thoughtful answers about that. Can thinking make you tired? Yeah. Uh, we want to know. So, so what I've done is, I hope you can see this. So I did two beads across and now what I want to do, unfortunately... Someone said, yeah, and someone said, Sky says, mentally drained, and Rainbow Unicorn says, yes, it can, so you're not Interesting. crazy. I'm not nuts. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Thank you, because a lot of oh, time I'm Oh, and Jay says, hello. Hi. And yes, and everybody says, yes, absolutely, it takes energy. So what we're going to do is through these two beads, we're actually going to put this one back through those two beads. I hope you guys can see this okay. We're just doing it differently for the first uh, craft and then after um, I'm going to flip the screen for the ring. So what we want to do is, it's like when you kind of do bead weaving. So we we have these two beads here. So one wire is going through one way and the other wire is going through the other way and we're just going to pull it. And Mimi's still working. Oh, Mimi's already done the other ear. Do you want to show them what you're doing? No, I'm just going to like finish. I'm just going to clip it and I'll show you guys what I did. Okay. So now, do you see how this is made like a little circular thing for the for the uh, horn? And what I would do now is I'm going to actually 
pull it tightly and bend that down and then pull it tightly and bend down this down my idea for for this was i really want it to to look kind of curvy wurvy so we'll see if it actually works so now it, oh look she's got her ears already that's awesome <laughs> that is so cool Oops, falling down. Here we go. so now what we have to do is just keep going with this so what i'm going to do is put three beads on either side and then just keep going with it so let's see how that's going to go we're gonna and Sky says it's so cute. It's really adorable. And honestly, you could do uh, bunny ears. You could do cat Anything ears. Anything you want. Because that kind of looks like a horse too. Yeah, you could do horse ears. You could even do like puppy dog ears and like fold them over or something cute. Oh yeah, that would be cute. Clarice is super cute too. That's awesome. <laughs> so I'm gonna just do. I'm gonna keep going with my. I hope I don't mess up my pattern here. So because what I'm doing now is oh, I'm well. just putting some more beads on here. So I'm going to put, yeah, that's what I thought. It's sort of hmm. interesting. So I'm going to put, I'm going to go down and do you three layers. I, think I have a unicorn like headband thing. Oh, do you? I think so. Oh, okay. Hmm. I think, I think I'm so. going to do the inside lines purple, although it doesn't really matter. So let me try to show you guys what I've done here. So after doing this one, I've done three beads and then I did another three beads because at this point we want to keep doing threes, threes, threes. And then I did the extra three beads that'll go in the middle because I don't know how to explain this properly, but I'm going to start with two in the middle and then three in the middle and then four in the middle just to see how, how it goes. So it expands the, um, the horn more and more so it looks like not so like stick straight and it like goes out more exactly you read my thoughts yes. yeah Mimi's here to process what I'm thinking and to tell you guys <laughs> so that's perfect so one two three and I don't know if you guys and know I, whoop go ahead and now you're going to stick the other wire within the other beads yeah so here's the okay. three that are the cross let's call them the cross beads and then we're going to put the other wire back In through them. yeah yeah that's it so it's In the same hole as the other one that you strung them onto. Exactly. Kind of like bead weaving type of thing. What were That's you going to say? I was just going to say, I don't know how many people on YouTube know, but um, Mimi and I write comics together. <laughs> Actually, Mimi is my muse. She kind of comes up with these really funny things and I turn them into comics. So if ever you look on the internet for Heather Boyd comics, they're all over the place. So we've got silly comics that are like me and Mimi just, just being silly and... Uh, and I used to have pictures of Mimi, but then she got a little <laughs> a little fed up with the Reddit people. So now she's got a bitmoji for her. So what's the gauge of the horn wire? So the gauge of this one is 24 uh, gauge wire. So see how it's coming like this? We might have to like kind of fix it up a little bit, but we'll see how it goes. So now let's just keep going on there. That's so, cool. So we're just going to keep going with it. We'll do a few more. I'm not sure how many we're going to have to do, but we'll see. Can you remember any of the other DIY projects we did for your dolls? We did cat ears, we did devil horns. Oh yeah, that was cute too. We've done like a charm bracelet with like these old American Girl Inner Star U charms they used to give out, like give out with outfits that you bought. Okay. But they don't sell that stuff anymore, so it doesn't exist. Yes. I still have my charm bracelet, but I don't use it. Okay. It just kind of goes everywhere. Yeah. Um, For the dolls, we she made this beautiful dress for my dolls, and all my followers are obsessed with this dress. Oh. But we didn't actually do a DIY on how to do it, and it's kind of complicated. I don't think we would. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. But um, if you look at my Instagram, I mean, me dolls, Um, it's like this orange dress, and there's like this lace thing here. Not lace, but like, uh, it's oh, like, um, like a tie up thing. Tie right? up at the front here. It's super cute. Yeah, that's and it's like it. a uh, sl not sleeveless, sleeveless, but it's like a spaghetti strap. The straps, straps. So, so guys, here we are again. I've done the three here. I've done three here, and now I have four in the crossbar. So we're gonna see, and if it doesn't hundred percent work, at least we have an idea. You know how it how we might be able to do it. So here's the four cross. Now let's go ahead and take this take one my next photo shoot. and put it back. Yeah, so so yeah, Mimi, maybe if this works out, maybe I'll do a photo shoot and uh, we'll link that up below too in the uh, in the uh, description. Tell tell them about our recent uh, shoot in uh, Old Montreal. That was cool. We did a photo shoot in Old Montreal, which was interesting. Yeah. Uh, I don't think the photos 
they, tu- but they turned out They okay. turned out really well, actually. I mean, I was contacted by, well, I tagged Montreal Tourism, and they retweeted it, which was really cool. And then I was recently contacted by a journalist who wants to know about, more about my story, and he might put it in the one of the uh, Montreal newspapers. So. I think that's awesome. Look at how yes, it's it coming, out. guys. <laughs> Should we do one more? It's cool. Let's, I like it. Let's yeah. do one well, more. Let me just measure it. I think it's a little yeah, short. One more. Okay, so one we're gonna more. do one more. So we'll one do more. we'll keep going with our pattern of three. Hey, there's fourteen people on it. It's at fourteen minutes. Very cool. And then if you go oh, I'm missing the comments. Mimi, can you check the comments? Whoa. I don't know where so we end cute. up. So cute. Yes. Oh, there's yeah. a lot of so cute. You read the comments because you're more animated than <laughs> me. <laughs> Uh, well, there's that's so cute, so cute, there's so, and then there's a cute with a little emojis. That was emojis. Clarice. Emojis, oh, there's I love that's, emojis. that's so cute, there's, nice. oh, the gauge wire, ha ha. Um, I oh, that no, was us I talking have to about. go. Oh, no, you have to oh, go. No. That sucks. Oh, well, Bye. we can watch the replay. Um. That's so dang cute. Yeah, that's <laughs> cute. I love it. That's awesome. Uh, I think we got most of the comments. Yeah, we got them. Okay, so now for the last one, I'm wondering maybe we if we do five, it's going to be too fat. Do you want to just go for the four at the bottom? What do you think? No, just doing our four. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So then we have our like the three here, and then the and then the four here. So let's just bend this, and we'll just do four at the bottom. Otherwise, it's going to get like it's going to look a little stubby. So now this is this wire is way too long. I should have cut it to in the I first place. I enjoyed your video a lot. Greeting from Algeria. Algeria, yeah. wow, how ah, awesome is that? Okay. So there we that's go, cool. that's far, that's very far. So one, two, that's I near France. There we go, oh, so we're gonna okay. go through Sorry. there. I didn't, there's a wire in the way and I wasn't sure if there was like a... Okay, so now how's our power going? It's doing fine. So now, see, we've, we've put the wire through the opposite way on the crossbar. We're gonna pull it up and then there, guys, is so far, this is pretty cool. Look at, there's our cone after all that, our cone. What do you call it? It's not a cone. It's a, it's a horn. horn. Okay, so now there I we go. Now I had to turn it, like, let's see this thing. Oh, I'm wondering if, should that no, be, wait, being, hold on. hopefully it's not going to be crooked. No, it won't, it should because be all right. you can just turn it on here. You know? Okay. So can I do it? Sure, yeah, yeah, we want to pull it, and just make sure, it's, we might have to put, you know, we're going to have to put an extra bead here. Because, see, it's going to be crooked. Oh, we have to put beads right. underneath. Okay, so let's oh, just put okay. the three beads there. And then it, if three is too much, we'll put oh. two. So on the end that's angled, we just have to add a few beads. I forgot about that. Engineering, after all. Okay, you know, I think three is going to be too much. So let's just put two at the bottom, like that. And that should work. And now we, oh, have, that is so cute. Now we have to attach oh it. So, it kind of looks like an ice cream cone. <laughs> It's oh, that's okay. Good. Okay, so let's put it on there. I think yeah. you only need one. Let's do one. Let's on do side. one for. Let's just attach that one, and then we'll see if it needs any. Okay. And the thing is, you're gonna have to maybe also wind it around uh, the bottom of the ear so it won't like flap back and forth. You know what I mean? Like you have to kind of have a cross uh, wire to attach it. So we're gonna attach it on there. Okay. And then we're going to see how this looks so it is a little soft because it's 24 gauge wire but the thing is um it's on a doll so it's not like it's she's easier gonna be, to work that way. yeah it's easier to work with it so it's so cute that, that's too much hey eh, that one should we just do one one yeah piece? i think it's just one it's but one. i don't want it crooked either so let's just see we're just gonna well, attach it's not it. supposed to be straight uh well it should be more or less straight okay there's one and that where is it with two it's too high now. I think we need something in between. Actually, I kind of like that because it makes it look okay, crisscross. Okay, okay, so now we're gonna we're gonna put two on the bottom of that just to hold it in place. Because I value your opinion. <laughs> well, I mean, it was your opinion. I would have said one, but that's okay. Well, I think just so it looks a little more diagonal. So there we go. All right. So okay, so we're gonna just keep twisting it around until you think it's secure. That. And there we go. And then at that point, you can kind of... Now, can we... Yeah, we can just kind of... It's really cute. Now, these are faceted beads, so it would maybe look a little different with round beads. I would definitely use plastic beads so it's light. Oh, my God, it's so cute. So now Wait. we're going to put it on the doll. 
without being curious, am I watching Mummy and Daughter? Yes, you are. We are Mummy and Daughter. So there's Dolly with her unicorn. She looks so cute. Oh my god, guys. She just needs like a little tutu or something. Yeah. I have one actually that will match it. That's awesome. So look out for, uh, she, she's adorable. I would love to buy American Girl. Okay, for my granddaughter. Yeah, yeah, they have them for boys now. Yeah, yeah Mimi so has a boy doll. Fun. Yeah, what's your boy doll's name? His name's Logan, but they're actually retiring Logan and Tenny because they go as a as a like a duo. Okay. Um, but there is truly me boys, and there's four of them. So, um, and they're still available, and there's clothes for them. So, if you're interested. Cool. That is so awesome. Just some shameless promotion for American Girl. <laughs> there you go. We'll tag American Girl. Yeah. So. So oh, we're getting a few more comments. So so adorable. That's awesome. So guys, what we're going to do now is I'm going to actually flip the screen so we can do a ring, a unicorn ring. And uh, so Mimi, you can stay or you can you can go, whatever you like. But uh, look out for a photo shoot because I actually have almost no photos left. So I don't know about that tomorrow, but I do have a tutu I want to do now. Cool, that's awesome. So if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm getting out my little gear to do the uh, the overhead shot of the ring. So let's flip the screen around. We should put around. a rabbit in this thing. <laughs> it used to be our rabbit cage. Yeah. So do you want to say bye, or are you gonna stick around? All right, same. Be much longer. Not much longer. Okay, I'll stay. She's here. gonna stick around. That's awesome. So let's lift this up. You want to push that box over? There we go. Push, push, push. Just throw it on the ground. Or not. Okay, so let's <laughs> let's. Fun. I'm gonna flip the screen around, and we're gonna do. I should just gonna run up to ring. it. Right back. Yeah, no worries. So we're gonna let's flip it around. And I'll, I'll buy it at the end. Of yeah. Oh, there we gosh. go. Perfect. <laughs> okay, so let's get this in place. Get the computer out of the way. Move this stuff. So here's our wire for the ring. And I already have the beads that I want to put on the unicorn ring. So let me get those. Here's the beads. And there's our ring cone that we need. And for the wire, I'm going to use, I think it's 20 gauge or 24, 22 gauge. And this is a thicker gauge, like an 18 gauge. So let's go ahead and do our unicorn first. I have to sit up so I can actually see what I'm doing here. And so we're going to cut a piece of the uh, 22 gauge wire. There we go. And I don't want it too, too long, but I hate running out of wire, so I don't want it too short either. So let's just cut about a foot of wire. And let's start with the unicorn horn. So what we want to do is just get a little bend like that. Okay. And I like the idea of doing like a little rainbow. And I do have some other tutorials to do uh, unicorn things. And I kind of forget what they were. I did another uni another live stream about unicorns a little while back. And uh, I can link that up below too. Or even if you, you know, you could search my channel for different videos. So if you're ever looking for something, there's a search bar. And you can just search it up, to, uh, search up unicorns and find that other one. So let's start by doing uh, these rainbow beads. Okay, and we're just going to push them down to the end. Uh, Heather, I ordered a tool, the tool, the tool. Wh which is the tool, uh, Clarice? I forget which, which tool that was. Clarice has a gazillion pairs of pliers. She sent me a, a picture of her pliers today, and she has more pliers than I do. You're very well equipped, Clarice. That's awesome. And Clarice also sends me beautiful photos of her work, which are in a lot of the slideshows that I've done. So there we go. Uh, it's raining very bad. Oh no, you're losing. Oh, hopefully um, you don't you don't uh, lose internet. Otherwise, you'll have to watch the replay. So here's the here's the rainbow, and what you need to do is secure those in place. So take the other wire and just kind of wind it around like that. Okay, and then what you have is you just that's you've done a full turn around. You're going to do it like that. So that's going to be the horn. Uh, as usual, I have no idea this is how this is going to turn out because I've never made a unicorn uh, ring before, but I have made earrings like this that I sell in my Etsy shop. So we're going to just bend it here. This is going to be the forehead. And then we're going to make an eye. We're going to go around like that to make the eye. Okay, but I'm going to try not to make it too, too big. 
So we'll just make it, these are my small round pliers. And then we're going to bend it out like that. Okay. And like I said, if it ends up too big, you can always try it and do fewer beads there or smaller beads. And then you want to bend a nose shape like that. Okay. And then we're going to just bend in kind of a, I don't know if you call it a muzzle or what you call it on the, <laughs> I don't know what you call it on the, on the unicorn, but there's this little chin type of thing. And then just down like that. So what we're doing is we're just forming the face of the unicorn. And then now we want to make like a little ear. So let's go ahead and bend this one. Actually, let's go like this. We're going to just make like a little ear like that. I'm just doing it freehand. Uh, I have made these before. So if you're wondering why it looks so easy, it's because I have made them before. I don't always get portions right. Okay. So if we have the shape like that, Okay, and Rainbow Unicorn's back. That's often awesome. You're going to have to check what you missed because I've already done the horn of this unicorn and the face. And so now we're going to take this and just bend it to like just we're just doing the head. So we're going to I actually have done the whole unicorn before, but for this one we're just doing the head. So if we go like that, and then you want to decide where you want to uh, finish it off. So we're just going to do like a full turn around like that oh Mimi's coming back and I'm almost done actually maybe you want to come on that side because uh I'll come on that side just a second okay or I'll flip the screen after yeah so there's the basic shape and then what you'll want to do is actually just finish off what this end just clip it off so what I'm going to do is just bend this around like that and clip it so we have one end that we've got rid of so that's always the challenge is to where to end the wire and where to clip it off so what gauge wire is this so this one is 22 gauge wire for the unicorn and i chose 22 gauge wire because it's um it's a little thicker than 24 gauge uh, but yet it still fits uh, the beads still fit on the wire so that's the challenge i guess in theory you could even use 20 gauge but i like the 22 gauge because it's quite a detailed design if it's 20 gauge it's going to be a little too thick so now we're going to form the mane of the unicorn so basically what you do is you just bend it back and forth and i'm going to try to do well, I was going to try to do four, but now I think it's only going to do three like that. Yeah, it's only going to fit three. So we have the main like that. And then you want to finish this end. So I purposely did the, the ear like that. So there was a little niche that I could uh, wrap that around. So we're going to go in there and then bring that in. And then also clip the end because you need to finish it somewhere. It's a little hard to access, but so we're going to clip the end like that. And then with the flap. Uh, plier. We're gonna go in here. Oh, Rainbow Unicorn says good night. Oh, night. Goodnight. Thanks for coming on. Yeah, and be sure to watch the replay to get the rest the rest of this. So here's this is really cute. So this is actually it could be an earring, but we're gonna make it into a ring. So because if you want an earring, you could just what I would probably do is do like a little loop up top uh, because you don't want it to be unbalanced. So for the ring, we need the thicker wire. This one's 18 gauge wire, so we're going to just take the thicker wire, cut a, a few inches of it. You don't need too much wire for the ring part. And then we're going to take our ring cone. Let me remove some of these stuff to get out of the way. So here's the ring cone, and I will link up in the video where you can buy these ring cones. I buy them, uh, I think, on Amazon or something. So we're going to just wind it around the cone so you have it like that. And then... What you want to do is take the round pliers and just bend it around like that. Okay, so you have that end bent and then we're going to clip it. So you have like a little bit there and then what I'm going to do is actually just put it into the little mud, like get into there and then use our flat pliers to close it up. Okay. Very simple. And then what we want to do is put it on here. Actually, you should maybe try it on your finger and see 
how big you want it because what you're going to do is actually hook the other end into the main. So put it on one of your fingers to get an idea of how big it should be. And then just go ahead and hold the hold the wire with your round. This is for sure with the round pliers and we're going to just bend it back. Be more like at a right angle because you have to be able to access it into there and then trim it trim it a little bit so say to about a little more than an eighth of an inch okay and then what you're going to do is that end is going to do one of the little main uh, hairs so maybe the one just below the ear you can experiment to see which one you want to put it into so I think that one's good so we'll put it in there and then you want to grab this with your round pliers and just finish the loop, okay? And if you need to trim it more, you might have to trim it a little bit more. If, you, if you're going to have too much wire there, just a little bit, because you do need a little bit of give there. And then with your flat pliers, close it up, okay? So there we go. So it's, it's kind of stuck into that main one there. Yeah, we can... And then, like I said, you want to trim it a little bit more. Yeah, it's cool, eh? Yeah, it's a really neat design. It's a little intricate. I would say this is an intermediate, but the concept is there. So there we go. So you're going to do it like that. And then, as always, to get it uh, perfect, you're going to put it back on your ring form and just bend it to how you want it. Like, just really push it with your fingers in there like that to get it it shapes up your unicorn ring what do you think Mimi very cute I love it it's cute eh so let's see if it fits my oh it's way too big but I I would probably uh, I, I could you could actually clip it and make it a little smaller but it's super cute so do you have the the um the headband that we can show them again because I usually when I close it I show them the headband do you want to grab it I don't want to go upstairs, but I'll just show my head. She, she took a picture of it. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. So let me flip the screen. Oh, so here we go. So and here's... You can see on the inner door. Okay, so here's... Here's the headband that we just did. So Mimi's already got a picture of it on her iPod, but she will be also putting them on Instagram. She'll take them with her professional camera. And then we have the unicorn ring there. And I'm going to flip the screen so we could say goodbye. So there you go. Let me you just see it on a different doll. Flip this out. There you go. Try it on my thumb. Oh, I could do that. Okay. Hello. I'm going to try it on my thumb just to see if it's going to fit. But now I'm holding this in one hand, so it's going to be a little tricky. Let's see. Oh, there we go. It actually works on my thumb. That's awesome. So let me flip her. It's going to be dark. Can you swing, swing over here to say goodbye? So Mimi's going to come back to say goodbye. And huge thank you to Mimi for coming on the live stream as a guest. That was so much fun. That was awesome. And look out for uh, her photo shoot on Instagram. For instance, it's pretty. That's awesome. And Sky says thank you. So thank everybody for hopping on the live stream. If you're not already a member of the Wire Art and Jewelers Club, please join and share photos of your work. And uh, other than that, if you want to check us out on Etsy, we have our Etsy shop where we sell a custom wire earrings jewelry and wedding cake toppers or you could even support me on Patreon I'll put my link to Patreon below and uh, good night to everybody night Clarice to night to Fern night to Sky night to whoever is still on the live stream and thank you guys so much it's always such a blast and we'll see you next week okay bye, bye.